What's up guys, it's you killed Kenny and I'm finally here with my infamous Second Son Paper Trail Part 2 tutorial that I promised. It took me a couple days to get this up because I was out of town visiting family for the weekend. But anyways, here it is. Uh, this is the first step. You're going to head to the bridge that connects the two islands to get the first mission. And pretty much you're just going to follow the paper trail, or the paper conduit. But I'm actually going to skip chasing her because it does take a while. Someone likes doves. This might answer a few questions. Okay, I'll take that. Alright, once you complete this step, you're going to be asked to return to the infamouspapertrail.com website. Once again, I'm only going to show the necessary steps, but I suggest you open all the files. Uh, click on the Origami Dove 3. Once you've done this, scroll to the bottom of the page, and you will find a website and an FAN number. Write down the FAN number, and either type in the website in your URL, or you can return to this menu and click on the DUP Intranet page, which should take you to this. All right, now enter the 11-digit FAN number into the search bar. Hit enter, and then at the bottom of that page, you'll find something that looks like this. The instructions at the bottom of this page are going to tell you you need to connect the dots. I couldn't find a way to do this online, so I actually printed this page off and did it myself. And this is what it looked like. When you connect the dots, you will cross 11 new numbers in the circles. Now you're going to want to go back to the other website and type these 11 numbers into the search bar at the top. Once you do that, a page will open that looks like this. This document is going to help you hack into the phone. Basically what it says is that the code on the keychain will change every 30 seconds. The digits will be 0 through 9, but it's not your actual password. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add 3 to each digit. Now you're going to want to return to the Paper Trail website and click on the item that says Fishbine's phone. You'll see a number on the key fob, add 3 to each digit, and you will unlock the phone. At this point, you will return to on console activity. Unexpected.
After you complete the in-game activity, once again, you'll need to return to the Paper Trail website. Click on the menu item labeled Cryley's Datebook. This page will open. Go to the website at the top of the page. The page will open with red writing all over it. Someone's hacked this website. There are two other questions located about halfway down on the page that will need to be answered. On the web page, you'll notice that there are numbers in the red writing. Write down all the numbers you see. There should be 11. This is a new FAN number. Now return to where you entered the other FAN numbers. Type in the 11 numbers and a video will pop up. In this video, you will find the answers to the questions. The biggest bully will be answered by the video itself and the case number is located just above the video in the top left hand corner. I suggest you write down all the names from the videos because one of them is going to work as the answer. Once you have answered the questions, you will return to in-game content. Judge, you here? Surprise. Gotta be a clue in this. Holy! Okay. Once again, after you complete the in-game part, you'll return to the website. New items will be unlocked, but you will not be able to access them. This is the end of Paper Trail Part 2. I will once again be posting a video when Paper Trail Part 3 is released. Until then, um, I hope that you guys like the video. Please leave any comments you have, any questions for me. Hit the subscribe button for me, and I look forward to seeing you guys on other videos. Thanks.